hello virgo welcome back to my channel welcome to all my new subscribers this is going to be for virgo sun moon rising venus and north node this is going to be for your next 72 hours virgo so let's see what's coming towards you in your next 72 i already shuffled this uh deck it's kind of big so i broke it apart so i'm just going to do one more and i'm going to split the deck i'm going to get started please remember that timing is fluid these energies could be past present or future Okay, it's not gonna be for everybody. Just remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your story. Okay, so let's see. Spirit guides, angels. We got dragon, beware of self-delusion at the bottom. Okay, so let's see. What's coming towards Virgo spirit in the next 72? Love. Ooh, Virgo, love coming in the next 72. What else? That looks nice. Okay, broom new home new attitude okay bird perched waiting for news package or letter oh you guys could be waiting to hear back from a, a, a home situation somebody's uh telling you you're approved here i feel like you're gonna love your new place for some of you this could be your first place congratulations i feel like for some of you you guys are going to be jumping the broom i'm hearing jumping the broom marriage is love is in the air <laughs> okay yeah you could be waiting for a message from your lover wall misunderstanding so there's some type of misunderstanding here let's see what else next 72 dog protection from a from a powerful friend okay so somebody's coming in to protect you or you know guide you here they you can trust this person dogs are loyal okay it's coming from this deck for virgo in the next 72 forest muddled unclear thinking yeah be careful of this here somebody could be trying to confuse you or you're going to be pretty confused about something maybe about your love interest here in the next 72 maybe you need to take a nature walk here virgo shield you you need to defend yourself okay somebody could be trying to stop you from moving towards your new home or towards your new whatever your new attitude your new home just i just feel newness here what else for Virgo in the next 72? Well, great, great um, worry over nothing. Yeah, somebody's stressed. Ten temporary situation, okay? But some of you guys could have actually been homeless. Wow. Or maybe like moving from home to home, and now you're finally about to be stable. That's big, Virgo. Congrats. That's nice. Temporary situation. So something was temporary here. Maybe where you were at was temporary, or for some of you, it could be where you're going is temporary until you move into a um, until you move into your new place. What else, spirit for Virgo? Next 72. Grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. Okay, so there might be a situation where you and another person have a misunderstanding. You could have been closed off to them, or they could have been closed off to you, but it's not because of what you think, it's not because maybe this person doesn't want to talk to you or whatever it is just like something was blocking you too and um it has something to do with someone's life that somebody needs to get their life together no more spirit for a virgo in the next 72 finger warning you of a problem either now or in the future yeah there's somebody that's going to be coming towards you i feel that's going to discord amongst family and friends okay this person is going to be warning you of a problem or giving you news you can trust this person with their information dark woman dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair okay so a dark woman could be specific um in your life right now virgo so let's just see what this is about okay spirit what is coming towards my virgos in the next 72 hours please excuse me give me clear and accurate messages for virgo what's coming towards virgo Ooh. In the next 72 hours yeah you're being independent you're healing that's you Virgo with your nine pentacles <laughs> some of you guys could be starting a business or have a business of your own and you're scared that you know you're not ready or you're doing something before it's time no it's time it's time for you to get out of a situation okay in the next 72 yeah there's the moon with fear anxiety worries the sun yeah <laughs> the moon and the sun for some of you, this is definitely spiritual guidance and um, 
this is definitely maybe a, a twin flame connection to the moon and the sun okay spirit what is coming towards virgo in the next 72 somebody's scared of like the unknown they don't know where they're headed they just know that they're being guided okay does mean intuition yeah eight of cups you guys walked away from something or someone walked away from you you're walking away from things that are not serving your your highest good at this time maybe family or friends or past people you're just ready to go you guys are definitely packing up and moving somewhere okay you're leaving something yeah yeah i feel like it's the right choice virgo so if you're not thinking that it is it is for virgo spirit we're just coming towards virgo in the next 72 <laughs> You're unfulfilled somewhere. The devil, yeah, Capricorn, that's that fear. That's that that fear, you know, kind of like creeping in or holding you back. Or maybe people are just not wanting to let you go, but you're letting them go, though. <laughs> Only you can control your actions, right? Okay. Um, Let's see, what else for um Virgo? Did I say Capricorn? Or did I say the devil was Capricorn? Okay. Sorry if I called y'all that. But what else for um Virgo in the next 72 spirit? What else? eight of wands in reverse okay so maybe there's something here that's slowing down for you or you feel like something is coming in very slow you maybe you and a person are not talking or going to be talking in the next 72 here we're going to see what that's about i just feel like something about your movement you need to maybe slow down or i don't know you just feel like you need to like have a steady pace you don't want to move too fast with something i feel like you are tempted by something though <laughs> you are what, what else for um, Virgo next 72? Knight of Wands. Yeah, didn't I just say that? You're tempted. You're passionate about something. You want to just rush in. But you're trying to make sure, I feel like for a lot of you, that you're not in and out. If you were in and out with something before, you don't want to be in and out. So you're slowing your movement down. Because you know this is what got you caught up in the first place, okay? Yeah, holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Okay, some of you guys could really be saving your money at this time. You're being selfish with it. Because, I mean, this probably what got you in a certain type of predicament in the first place. Giving your money out or helping people that are not helping you. It's just maybe you're tired of those type of situations. All right, what else? But there's something here that you're passionate about, though. You you feel like um, there's like an adventure you want to go on. Or for some of you guys, you could be traveling. All right, but maybe there's been a delay in your travel plans. Or it's been some type of hold up. You're waiting for something. What, what else for Virgo? King of Wands. I'm glad this flipped up right. <laughs> King of Wands. So yeah, strong fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's definitely taking action though. I see someone taking action. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Okay, so somebody grew up or is growing up. Somebody is manning up. Yeah. Oh, I like this energy, Virgo. Somebody here is like not being so impulsive. Yeah. Somebody trying to control their urges or impulsive ways but somebody's definitely they're, they're very somebody could have like fire a fire moon or something like an aries leo sag moon or some somewhere in their big three but somebody here is definitely um taking action because that's what the king of wands does they they take action okay they plan accordingly but they're they're passionate they're they're bold they're courageous they're brave they're going to do what they have to do okay but they're in the King of Wands energy now, not the Knight of Wands. That's what I'm feeling like. Maybe a transition or something. What what else for um Virgo? The Sun card. Okay, yeah. So someone could be a bit egotistical. This is a Leo astrology card. It talks about ego, your personality. Somebody could have like a very fiery, passionate personality. They've been stuck in their ego a lot. I feel like somebody's trying to find find the balance for this. Okay, because maybe somebody has now has the like get up and go to do something maybe after moving out of a situation all right let's see what else one more for virgo next 72 yeah I just, yeah six of pentacles so yeah you received help or you're going to receive help in the next 72 okay this could come from like an institution or maybe the government or whatever something about your finances is um you're going to receive the help that you need to keep moving forward for, for some of you, this is like, yeah, maybe you're wanting to give equally to a situation in the next 72. Yeah, maybe there's a truth that you need to tell or you're getting a victory in something. There's going to be maybe a breakthrough in some type of communication. You're going to hear back from, from like some, somebody or something like a, a 
the government or something here that's going to help you out. There, there's something coming into balance here. You're going to give to something, they're going to give back. Okay. So let's see, what is this double energy for Virgo in the next 72? The world. Yeah, cycle is closing out. Good for this shit, whatever this is. The Page of Cups. One more. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so with the world coming out, yeah, you're closing a cycle out with either a toxic attachment you have with somebody, like a karmic or somebody from your, your past that you've been dealing with for a while. Or it's just like addictions or this toxic mindset that you have. Something about you is changing. Okay, a cycle is closing out. Um, you could be getting news back from like, um, maybe like like an email, like you're getting on your computer or online. For some of you, there could be travel involved. Like, yeah, I feel like you are traveling because you're going somewhere new. So there could be travel involved or there could be something about social media here. So some of you guys could be getting communication from someone through social media. Okay, you guys live at a long distance from each other. Um, but you are being recognized for whatever this is that you're closing out. It's closing out anyway. I feel like it's been closing out, but for some reason, there's been an attachment to this. Okay. Um, I see an apology or like an outpouring of feelings coming in. Some of you guys like really smell really good. Okay. Every time I see the page of cups, I mean, they look like they smell good. They look good. They just, they're very fashionable. They can dress. If somebody's really into fashion or somebody really likes nice things, nice clothes, all right, maybe that could be what the addiction is. Somebody's spending their money a certain type of way. They're trying to, yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to reevaluate their spending habits, their investments, looking at the things that they're investing in because if this is a new place or a new home, you have to kind of like, especially if you're on your own now, okay, you could have been in a codependent relationship with somebody here, Virgo, but if you're on your own now, you're learning how to spend your money, you're looking at your investments, you're trying to like maybe come up with a plan or reevaluate things or... Somebody is wanting to invest their time and energy into something. Whoever, if this person is coming in towards you, they want to invest their time into you. All right. What is this? Um. But yeah, something about your investments. What is the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo in the next 72? Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's a passionate new beginning coming in the next 72. You're... <clears throat> something here that you're passionate about that you're working on it could be like a slow progress here but it's like you're going to be brainstorming or getting a new idea for something that you're very passionate about <laughs> for some of you guys you're really tempted by someone somebody is very sexually attractive to you and you're like huh you're trying to figure out if I should like come in like this or should I not like let's see what else for the seven of pentacles for Virgo North Node, yeah, you're going towards your passion, your soul's purpose. So it could be like a creative project that you're starting, or this could be like somebody that you have a hard on for. They have a hard on for you. Yeah, somebody is very sexy. Yeah, we have the King of Wands to the Queen of Wands. So this is your counterpart or your person here. Yeah, you're very passionate about somebody. Somebody could definitely have a North Node in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I do. I'm a Virgo rising, guys. But yeah, so so somebody is trying to make plans. Yeah, they're trying to plan or trying to see if something will grow with this new beginning that they're going to bring about, okay? Because I feel like there's feelings involved here. There's definitely emotions involved with this move. Somebody's making a big move. I feel like somebody's a little scared to communicate. So let's see. Um, what is this Eight of Wands in reverse? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, didn't I say somebody's slowing their movement down? <laughs> Somebody is slowing the fuck down because they don't want to come in all quick. It's like somebody wants to just rush in and just do something, but they can't or they won't. They want to be able to, to be, they want to be the best version of themselves when they come towards you, I feel. Or this is an offer that's coming to you that's just been pretty, pretty slow. Maybe something here that you started in your past that's coming back around. Okay, like there's something here that stopped or it's just been moving slow. I feel like something did not stop, but it's just been moving hella slow. So it feels like it stopped or it feels like it's not coming, but it is. Okay, what else for this Eight of Wands? Something here that you can trust, somebody that's loyal. They're very methodical. Okay, they're very down to earth and very grounded here with this Pentacles energy. Could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. That's you, Virgo. 
So yeah, you, this could be you offering someone something, or this is an offer coming into you, coming in towards you, maybe about your money. And what is this? Uh, yeah, it's been a delay in something about your finances. Maybe something has been delayed here. What else with this Eight of Wands in reverse? For Virgo in the next 72. So it's finally coming in. The Hangman, yeah, you can't really see past the... You don't think that something is coming. With this in reverse, you don't think that something is coming or something can be worked out. Okay? You feel trapped or stuck. Or you feel like you have a lack of direction. Like, yeah, I feel like somebody doesn't really know where they're going, but they're just going. <laughs> you're, you're trying to maybe slow down the process or something is slowing it down. What else for the Eight of Wands in reverse? The Queen of Wands, yeah, your person, yeah. You're trying to get to your person. You're anxious, you're worried. You're thinking like, okay, maybe I don't know if I can get to them because there's something here that's holding me up. Or you're not, you're needing to see things from a new perspective here, Virgo. Yeah, it's like you're facing some type of dilemma and you're, you're like unsure of what path to take here. So you're not you're not making moves. You're not making like you are making plans. I feel, but you're just slowing slowing it down. You need to look, maybe look at your situation from a different angle here. Maybe you need to release something. Let's see what is this? The hangman in reverse. The lovers, yeah. So uh, there could be a choice between like like two things, two people, two paths. Then we have the five of swords. So. There could be a choice between two people. You're in love with this person, okay? You're holding back communication for whatever reason. You don't know how to come in towards them. You don't know how to be. Like, you just, I don't know. Somebody is very sexy to you, though. The Queen of Wands is sexy. You and your person look good as fuck. Whoever this is, y'all look fucking good. <laughs> I'm just getting, like, a hot, steamy energy from y'all. Y'all just, I don't know. Y'all look really good together. You love this person with love here. You're moving into your new place. Like, you're like, damn, I finally got my shit together. So now I can kind of like do this, but I'm scared or I don't have everything that I need right now. You're unsure how this person would think. What else for the hangman in reverse? Because there's some type of mind game being played. South note, okay. So yeah, you're, you're stuck maybe in fear or there's something from your past that's trying to hold you back right now. So it's something that, that it just can't speed up like how you want it to speed up. You can, you're still in hermit mode. You're still reassessing, maybe doing some reevaluating, trying to use your intuition to move things to calmer waters for yourself. Because you know something here is your, your spiritual path or your right path here. There's a spiritual connection here that you need to be doing. Maybe it's just something that you love. Some of you guys work in the beauty industry or for some of you, I'm hearing like barbers or, or um something in the cosmetology industry that you are wanting to go towards, but you're scared for some reason. It could be somebody from your past that's trying to hold you back or some type of lesson that I feel like is closing out so you can start new here with the world. But maybe there's something here that's trying to, they're, they're trying to do something to you, I don't know. But I feel like you're going to kind of like, um make them feel stupid because they can't they can't take what's meant for you anyway what else for this lovers and the hangman in reverse with the south node yeah nine of pentacles you're fighting for your independence right now of virgo you're fighting for your independence you're you're single you can do whatever the fuck you want okay something revolving your you know around your money or this is who you're going towards somebody that you find very you could feel like somebody has more than you right now okay yeah that could probably be what it is you feel like someone has more than you they're they're single they're independent you feel like somebody maybe doesn't need you okay nobody needs nobody but you maybe feel like this person doesn't want you or something but you're in love with this person i see somebody has their shit together they're very beautiful okay they they're enjoying the fruits of their labor right now like you just think this person maybe wants to be single or you're holding back because you're not seeing something Excuse me. Who is this Nine of Pentacles? What is this Nine of Pentacles? The star in reverse. Yeah, you lost. You're losing faith in something. It could be an Aquarius. Or this is this person has lost faith in you. You don't see like a good outcome with this. You're not seeing where this could work out for you. And I feel like you need to be in upright. You need to really have some hope and faith. Somebody is losing faith in a commitment or a connection because... You feel like somebody just, mm, maybe you need, 
you need some type of communication from somebody to, to kind of like make you feel I don't know you want to know the outcome of something before you just dive into it you don't want to be rejected hmm yeah, you feel hopeless or you feel like, yeah, oh, don't feel like that, Virgo. The chariot, but you're coming anyway. What else for this nine of pentacles with the star reverse? Taurus. Oh, it could be about a Taurus. Okay. What else for this nine of pentacles in reverse? The hermit. Yeah, you're hiding out from this person. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't want to be bothered or this is you. Maybe you're reassessing your finances too, Virgo. You're really trying to... Um, You don't feel good about where you are financially. Yes, you're single. Okay, you're, you're regaining your independence, but maybe you don't feel good about it. So you're still going within or you're hiding out. In the night 72, you just don't feel confident enough to do something. Okay, and why? Because there's love here. What is this Knight of Wands here for Virgo in the next 72? Neptune. So you could be dreaming about this person. Could be a Pisces. What is this Knight of Wands in the next 72? Five of Pentacles. What else? The Moon. That's that fear in the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're you're hiding your feelings about some uh with about someone. You love someone here, Virgo. Yeah, you see this, you can have everything with this person. Well, you just see somebody just glowing right now. You're just like, damn, I really, I fucked up with this. I, I can't even get this back. Yeah, here's the Empress. Because this is like pre-Empress energy right here with the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like, you don't know if you can get this back. You broke this person hard or they broke yours. But that's that fear though. With the moon coming out, you, you're you fearing. You you don't want to make the wrong choice or you're scared that um this person is going to leave you out in the cold. Yeah. Or you don't have enough finances to do something. What is this moon for the um but you're using your intuition though what is this moon for virgo in the next 72 king of cups yeah you're hot you're bro the feelings that you have for somebody is just overbearing at this point you're really hiding your emotions you don't know what to do or how to come in with someone i feel like this is all one energy really with the um knight of pentacles king of cups king of wands with the queen of wands that's your person right there Okay, the Nine of Pentacles is kind of like a person to me too. Yeah, there's mutual love here, but you're you're hiding these feelings from this person. You don't know what to say or how to express yourself. But you're very devoted to this person. You want to commit to them. I see you do want to commit. You you could be a father, or this person could be a father figure. What what's what else for this moon in the next seventy two hours? Six of Swords. Yeah, you want to move things to calmer waters with someone, but you feel like it's going to be a fight. Or there could be other people in the midst of this, and Aquarius could be significant, or a Capricorn. But maybe it's other people in the way, so you're maybe worried you don't want to bring this into this person's life if there's arguing or fighting amongst others or family and friends. Okay. Yeah, you, you want to move things to calmer waters, though. You know this is the right thing to do. Okay, you know this, that this is your path. And you're meant to go down this path with whomever, with this person. You guys could be getting advice from like an older person on what to do. Maybe like other father figures around you that you're, you're trying to get advice. What is this five of pentacles here? Virgo, there you are, Virgo. Somebody could have, your person could have Virgo in their chart or this could be you. What is this five of pentacles? That is you actually. Six of Cups, yeah, someone from your past, a renewal with a judgment, a renewal, reconciliation, a um, yeah, with the Hierophant, you you want to be with somebody, that's just period. You're having nostalgia, you're really thinking about somebody a lot, Virgo. You're thinking about somebody a lot from your past and maybe you left out in the cold, so now you're fearing that this person is going to do the same thing to you, so they're kind of stuck on what to do, like you're unclear. You're unclear on what's on how to approach this person or or what to say get him some flowers shit do something if this is a female because i feel like this is masculine energy i don't feel like it's female i feel like masculine energy like a man actual actual man thinking about you feminines here okay even though gender is not is is 
it's not gender specific, but I'm actually feeling like male energy. Okay. Somebody who has deep feelings for someone. Yeah, with the six of cups, somebody that you are having past lives with. You have past lives with this person. You guys were in love for a very long time before you even reincarnated here. You're in love with this person. Yeah. So what who is this King of Wands spirit? For Virgo. Justice. Yeah, this person wants to bring justice back to a situation. It could be a Libra. Yeah, they're going through some type of death and, and rebirth. Or they're trying to transform this connection. Or they're transforming. This is a major arcana. Yeah, with the tower. There were some things that, that, that maybe needed to be kicked out. Maybe there was some chaos in someone's life. There could be a court situation that somebody had to wait for in order for this to, to come about. Um, but there was something here that, that happened unexpectedly or it is in the next 72 hours. Something here is going to end with somebody. Okay. Or, or there's something here that ended already and they're just having to go through the motions of the, the process of this. What else for the King of Wands? The Justice. Eight of Swords. Oh, somebody could be getting locked up with the Justice and the Eight of Swords. Somebody could be getting locked up. There's some honesty. My ear ringing. There's some honesty and some truth that this person wants to bring about to you. Uh, 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 I'm about to call you Taurus. Virgo. They want to tell you something here. Or like I said, somebody here could be getting locked up. Somebody from this person's past or your past could be going to jail. Okay. But I feel like somebody's stuck in their head about something in the next 72. They they need they have something to say, but they feel trapped or held back for some reason. It could be because they can't say anything because of this is a court situation. Or if something happened with someone, they can't really say anything to you right now. They can't do anything. But I just feel this person, they're, yeah, they're burdened. Look, somebody's burdened. They can't take anymore because something here, they know that something here is meant for them. Or some something here is faded. So it's like the longer you push this back or hold this back, it's going to become a burden. And you're just going to get tired and just be like, fuck it. I got to say something. I got to do something. You know? So, yeah, it's like somebody is carrying around all this dead weight and baggage and they're just tired of doing it. Let's see what else for this King of Wands. The Chariot and the, yeah, okay, and the Seven of Swords. So somebody got to be strategic about something or they feel like they have to. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Swords with the Justice here. So it's like somebody is trying to move in silence to do something. This person is probably going to sneak up on you. You're not going to see this coming with these blindfolds on. Um, You know, this person could have been dishonest with you or somebody here, somebody could be trying to do something to someone's car. I don't, I don't know if I picked that up in y'all last reading, but somebody, somebody could have been trying to do something to someone's car to keep them stuck, okay, or in the next 72. Somebody could be trying to stop somebody from moving on. Yeah they're trying to stop this person what is this um eight of swords a aries a aries could be significant so an aries could be trying to stop some your person here or this is you stop someone from moving forward what is this eight of swords this wants to be on my nerves the lovers again what a strong connection yeah this is this is a a lover maybe from this person's past yeah a third party could be but there's a reconciliation here with the sun Somebody somebody found out maybe about a third party or is going to find out about one or somebody's just going to be seeing these group of friends or this group of people for who they are, okay? So, but, yeah, it's like someone's from this person's past is trying to hold them back. They could have been trying to do something to, to someone's car here. Maybe you need to check your car. This person, it seems like they're very spiteful and vindictive. They're trying to hold you back or keep you stuck from this. But you want to balance things out. You really are thinking about this person. Maybe you lied to somebody about something, Virgo, or this is uh, them. But maybe somebody did like some lying or sneaking around or something. What What is the Seven of Swords for Virgo in the next 72? Cancer could be significant. Yeah, we have Cancer here with the Chariot. What is the Seven of Swords for the next 72 spirit for Virgo? Five of Wands. Yes, yeah, there's, a, there's a fight that's going to happen in the next 72, but you're going to hold back from it because like somebody could really be trying with this mars energy somebody is really aggressive or they they this is aries energy too so aries could be significant somebody here wants to like fight you or start something with you and you're going to be holding back from this person this person is very controlling and possessive they could be very greedy 
and they're trying to start some shit with you so to stop you from moving on so be careful of this energy you're trying to do something you need to be strategic with your moves here virgo what is this seven of swords tired of picking up this devilish energy yeah this person is a liar whoever this is they're a liar okay they you just don't even want to talk to who this is and this uh nasty ass energy somebody is being sneaky behind your back or they, they could be doing it in front of your face i just feel like somebody's petty somebody's petty and they're trying to cause chaos in your life they're trying to cause conflict they don't want to see you move on or move forward yeah you need to defend yourself you need to have like some type of shield or something you need to really I have a wall up with this person because they're annoying they're annoying somebody here's annoying as fuck but somebody here's a liar you cut off communication with them you don't want to talk to them so now they're mad they're trying to fight you they don't want you to move on what is this chariot but you're doing it anyway the four of cups and the ace of cups yeah you're going towards this love you're not tripping over this shit you're going towards this new beginning in love with your person that's just period okay so that's that's just what it is you're very discontent where you're at you're not happy you feel like you need to lay low anyway because this person they're evil i just keep picking this up with virgo they're evil somebody here is evil yeah this person is kind of like or, or something here about your past you were discontent with this so you're moving on towards new love and somebody doesn't want you to do so what is the six of pentacles for virgo you're going to be receiving help though it looks like the full yeah you're gonna you're gonna be able to take this leap of faith anyway this could be like an aquarius or aries i'm picking that up strong what else for um to go you know you have a, a fresh start whatever this help that you're getting here with your finances or if somebody is uh, giving you help or showing you some love or helping you out it's meant for you to get that it's not this person doesn't like where they're at in their life so they're bringing misery upon you misery loves company with this fool, you're taking this leap of faith. What else? With the Six of Pentacles. Saturn energy. So somebody Saturn return. Okay. Things about like like unpredictable changes. Okay. What what else for um the Six of Pentacles? Judgment. Yeah, you're being protected anyway from this. You're making a decision. You're you're going towards your 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 North Node, your passion, your destiny. Your, your, there are changes being made here. There are changes being made. I feel like something's going to happen last minute because I feel like you're like really scared about something, but something here is going to happen last minute. You're going to receive something at the last minute. It's going to help you move forward. It's going to push you forward. Yeah. Yeah, but with the judgment, it's like, it's like you're homesick. You want to be with somebody. You want to renew something. You're going towards some somebody or something to re, to get, to renew could be an old job that wants to rehire you again or whatever happened or maybe there was a misunderstanding but there's some type of misunderstanding about something here uh virgo yeah what else with the six of pentacles um your angels are helping you they're guiding you here you have divine protection get the ten of fucking pentacles look at this you're going to work bro it's something about your money that needs to be protected too virgo because you're getting something you're getting a new home, a new life. Your your family is coming together. If even if it's like a new family, there's something about family, maybe inheritance or some type of wealth that is coming towards you. You need to protect this and guard this with your life because somebody sees that you're getting this, they don't want you to get it. So you need to like really guard yourself at this time because I see abundance coming in. I see a new partnership. I see a divine love. I see you getting together with somebody that could bring about abundance. So keep going keep pushing don't let this um energy steer you off your path i feel like you're smart enough to know that though yeah but there's something here that's gonna whatever this leap of faith that you're taking you're being guided to do so anyway and your your spirit guys got you period know that know that because um that's what it is all right so there's a new beginning that's coming for you i feel like somebody's determined to get this no matter what they're not letting nobody get in their way I feel like someone's moving like they're making a lot of changes right now maybe new car new place new job i feel like somebody's whole life is doing a like uproot like something is just being made over or something you know what i'm saying so don't let that shit get don't let nothing get in your way virgo 
because it seems like somebody is a hater somebody just wants you to be in this their same broke down spot and this is just not what your path is that's not meant for you you're not meant to be broken down you're not meant to be with this person you're meant to go towards your spiritual person i mean your, your spiritual union your divine counterpart you're meant to have nice things you're meant to live a luxurious life i see luxury okay you and this person coming together and building an empire starting a family like you're meant you're meant for this this is what you're meant for somebody is just mad if they're not the lover i don't give a fuck if it's a lover or not you should have been on your shit ain't nobody got time if you're not growing then it's time for me to leave you alone <laughs> bottom of the deck we have karmic justice yeah that's what this thing is here there's justice being brought back into maybe your person's life here yeah well okay so this is a time when all wrongs are being made right whomever has wronged you is about to receive their karmic justice allow karma to come full circle be patient ask for divine intervention to help you move forward trust in the process you are strong you are protected learn from your mistakes don't make them twice okay yeah and then we have to take action under that so Let's see what else is coming towards Virgo in the next 72 or what they need to hear. So a water sign, that's a king of cups. Here's the king of cups. Yeah, somebody that has feelings for you. They, they like, um, they're empathetic. They have, like, deep emotions. Okay, they're yearning for this love with you. They could be very psychic. Very, This person is trying to telepathically, telepathically communicate with you with this moon. Okay, they're trying to talk to you here. What, what else for this, um... What else for Virgo in the next 72? What else do they need to hear? Soulmate, yeah. This is an omen to confirm that a new soulmate has arrived or is on the way. Soulmates are part of our soul group. This could be a lover, friend, sibling, mentor, colleague, or child. Sharing trust, experience, and teachings with, e with each other are a blessing. You are connected through past lives and your bond has remained strong. Yeah, you and, you're going towards your twin. Or this is just like a high-level soulmate of some sort. But it's bringing a lot of abundance. I just feel like this is a twin flame for a lot of you guys. Yeah, they're trying to align with you and get their shit together so they can come and, and take care of you and, and be the person that you need them to be in this relationship. They have to get rid of this stupid-ass hoe first, though. They're getting on my nerves. For real. Teamwork. The time has to consider partnering. The time has come to consider partnering with others to complete a task, project, or bigger goal. This is a time to be open to other people's ideas, input, or talents. Delegating tasks to others helps carry a more fair workload. Assistance is coming from spirit. Help is on the way. You don't have to do it all alone. Okay. So you're partnering up. Sounds like a partnership or there's like a friend here that's going to be helping you out. Because they want the best for you. There's somebody here that you can trust. It could be your actual person consummation this is an omen of formalizing a union this could be a union with your higher self a divine partner a commitment or quest it is time to, to sanctify your body heart mind and soul giving of oneself freely and cherishing the process will keep intentions just and pure the path before you is one of divinity and uninhibited bliss okay yeah strong partnership coming in i'm so excited for y'all well me too because this sounds like my story <laughs> Because I'm a Virgo rising, you know, rising signs are very important, uh, a very important aspect of your chart. But rebirth. With every ending comes a new beginning. With all loss, grief, illness, depletion, or despair comes a new beginning, a rebirthing. Take a moment to regroup and contemplate your steps going forward. This is an omen of starting over, transitioning into a new cycle, new projects, new beliefs, newfound talents, or new abilities. Yeah, somebody's going through a death and rebirth. Their life is they're getting their shit together and i just saw a trusted ally this card talks about you can trust you, you know you can trust your person or you can trust this friend that's trying to help you out you you'll feel that you can trust them if you can't then you just can't that's not the friend that's helping you it's somebody else trying to take your position but this talks about you can trust your person it says your person has your back you can trust what they say to you and about you when you're not present yeah then we have independence. Healthy independence is needed at this time. You are meant to thrive by your own efforts in partnership with the help and offerings from others. This can also be an omen to remain independent of drama. Don't get involved in other people's situations. Go solo, abandon fear, make your dreams a reality. Don't get held back. Yeah, don't let these people hold you back or trick you out of your spot. Keep it the fuck moving, Virgo. Keep it moving. Yeah. Somebody is fighting really hard to, like, get to this love, man. <laughs> this person, whoever this is, is a fighter. I don't know. For a lot of you, it's like, oh, well, 
for a lot of you i think when y'all comment it's like y'all talking about karmic relationships because it seems very toxic this is not a twin flame or soulmate partnership it's just it's not that toxic in that way like the shit that these comics do versus what a twin flame dubs does is like two different things they are but your intuition will tell you that you can trust your person or even though this person like twin flames even though this person is not really expressive it's a reason why they have to heal something and they need to get rid of some karmic debt in their life here that they've been dealing with with these stupid ass karmics and these dumb ass just people it's just annoying but you'll know when your person loves you for real into you good chemistry great positive vibes yeah this is you and your person what else for virgo fed up yeah somebody is at their breaking point bro they're not dealing with this shit anymore somebody's fed up love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic that's you and your person okay so that's happening in the next 72 what else next 72 spirit for virgo unfazed unbothered good be unbothered that's what you need to be what else oh shit dodging bullets blocking negativity escaping crazy people protected by haters yeah protected from haters yeah ego hurt ego ego getting in the way of relationship etc yeah somebody's ego somebody's ego could be getting in the way or could have gotten in the way in the next 72 i feel like somebody's overthinking screenshots getting evidence proof facts okay so if this is a court situation i don't know somebody's trying to get evidence to do something with their childish ass i don't know what else was going on in the next 72 lonely okay someone's lonely your person's lonely i feel head in the clouds karmic friends can't fully trust them tension secret competition keep your friends close and your enemies closer and then we have confused yeah they don't know which they don't what else for virgo they could be trying to cause confusion an offer so an offer is coming what else? Next 72. An offer will be made. Excuse me. Rejected. Then we have child neglect. This came out in Aries reading. Aries, y'all need to go back and y'all need to go watch Aries reading. So I feel like this person is rejecting. For some of you, you are rejecting this offer. For a lot of you, you're probably not. Okay. But there's something here about some child neglect or something. Somebody somebody's a loser okay somebody's a, a complete loser that's why they're being rejected because <laughs> i feel like you and your person are on the good side of karma you know like your person didn't handle things right but i just feel like uh, somebody in their energy is just an idiot could be like the mother of their child or something like that somebody somebody here is more focused on running around chasing penis and vagina that they they don't even have their shit together they're just a loser <laughs> They're just a loser, period. They're bummed, they're lame. I just, I just, I don't know. That's just how I feel. This shit made me mad in Aries reading. Okay, spirit. The Virgo, what is, what is this? Uh, let's get a spirit animal oracle. What do they need to hear for the next 72? We have, um goose inner knowing okay yeah you are a brave traveler your soul knows the way be confident you will achieve your destination lonely uh, loyal friends are always with you don't worry you are blessed let yourself fly yeah so a goose could be a signif uh, a sign if you've been seeing goose lately or if you've seen a goose or you're going to see a goose in the next 72 then we have black bear guardian gentle and wise protector give me your confidence and power help me protect the ones i love awaken my intuition and guide me yeah then we have prong pronghorn okay action now is the time to act opportunities are here move forward with confidence your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success yeah beautiful yeah so you're being guided and you're being protected by spirit at this time okay you have your your intuition is peaking it's heightened with this page of cups is definitely hiking uh, uh spiking okay and you'll you'll have an inner knowing You'll know who's who. 11-11 on the timer. So it definitely stands for like union, twin flame union. It stands for um, new beginnings, fresh starts, you know. Yeah, so that's, that's coming. <laughs> it's coming in the next 72 for a lot of you. 
for some of you it's not it's probably a little bit longer probably like a couple weeks but i feel like y'all just been waiting for for you know longer than that so okay so this was your reading um virgo okay so good luck with everything congrats with your move okay with your new life i love that for you guys um congrats on your union if this reading resonated with you please like comment subscribe and turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye